Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and here let's learn how to make a character with a weapon aim perfectly at a target. This is essential to make your characters aim correct, otherwise they will only be aiming straight forward and not up or down, which makes it look quite bad. So we want to have our target position in the world, anywhere in the world, and we want to visually see the character correctly rotate and aim towards that target perfectly. This is obviously perfect for a character, but the same method also works for something like a tower defense game where you want to aim a cannon, or of course just make a character simply look at a target by rotating the head. If you prefer a more guided path with step-by-step -step lectures, then check out my complete courses, learn how to make a builder defender game using C Sharp just like I make my own Steam games, or learn how to make games entirely using visual scripting, or learn all about Unity with the Ultimate Overview course, which contains over 30 lectures, each covering a different tool or feature of the engine to help you make better games faster. I'm always available in the courses Q&A section, answering your questions every single day. So check out all the courses with the link in the description. So a while ago, I made a third-person shooter video. In there, I covered everything from start to finish, how to handle the character movement, find the target position in the world, and so on. The only thing that I didn't cover in that video was how to make the final animation aim perfectly towards the exact target position. Now I didn't cover it in that video just because I first needed to cover the animation rigging package which is necessary for making this work. And a while ago I made a full video on that package so go watch it if you haven't seen it. In there I actually mentioned this specific use case but I figured I'd make a dedicated video just to help the people searching for this exact topic that might not even know about that package. So over here let's build it from scratch. Over here is my starting scene, so I just have my character, I can move around look anywhere. And then when I press the right mouse button, the character aims with the weapon straight forward. However, now I can look up or down, but the character's aim does not change, it's all fixed. So as you can see, it's constantly pointing at that height. So if I aim to the ground, it's definitely not aiming to the ground. If I aim to the sky, definitely not aiming to the sky. So this is exactly the point where I left on the third person shooter video. So go watch that one to see how I got here. This one obviously does not look good, so let's make it aim correctly towards the actual target. Like I said, this whole thing is based on the animation rigging package, so you install it through the package manager. You can go watch that other video if you want to learn more about it in more detail and see all of the possible use cases that this package enables. So here, let's start using it. Over here is my character. Now the first thing we want is to set up a rig. So again, just going into the animation rigging menu and going to rig setup. Now let's also add a bone renderer so we can see all the visual bones. There they are. Now let's set up our aim constraint. So we go inside, let's go inside our rig. Inside, let's make an empty game object, call it aim. Then let's go into add component, animation rigging, and let's choose a multi-aim constraint. Okay, so this one is how we're going to make the weapon aim perfectly at the target. And now for the weapon, how I have it set up here, it's actually a child of the hand. So here's the root, the entire skeleton, all the bones, inside I've got the hand right, and inside I've got the rifle. So really what we want is to aim with the hand bone and then the rifle will follow. So over here on the aim constraint for the constraint object, let's drag the hand reference. Then let's make sure the aim and the up axis are correctly set up. So let's select the hand game object. And here make sure you know about this button to go between local and global space. In this case, to make sure the axes are correct, we need to check them in local space. So in local, we can see the forward vector is over here, the red one, and the red one is the X. So on the aim, for the aim axis, let's put it on the X. And then for the up vector, we've got the blue one, that's the Z, but that one is pointing down, we want up, so let's put it on minus Z. So up here for the up axis, it's a minus Z. Okay, so then we just need to assign the target, so the source object. And for the target, we're going to use the mouse position, but let's just first make a simple target just for testing. All right, so here I've got just a simple sphere. Let's make this the target, so over here on the source object, just attach this one. Okay, so that's it, no need to play around with any more settings, so let's test just like this. And yep, just with this, you can see it's already working. So I've got the target, I can place it anywhere, and as you can see over there, the hand is aiming perfectly at the target. So I can go left, right, up, down, and it always aims perfectly. All right, so far so good. You can even verify that it's actually working. So over here as a child of the hand, let's just add a simple cube. And you can just stretch it out, and here, no matter where I place it, you can see it is aiming perfectly. All right, so far so good. So this is already working, but just like this, it looks a bit odd. So pretty much the only thing that is turning is just the hand, the rest of the body, everything else is still static. 
So in reality, you don't really aim just with your hand, you move the entire body. So let's solve that. Let's make another constraint. So over here, let's create another empty game object. Call it the body aim. Then let's add a component and mission rigging. Once again, a multi-game constraint. Then for the constraint object, let's apply it to the spine. So this bone. So over here, just drag the spine bone. All right. Then once again, we need to set up the axes. So let's select the spine and let's see the forward axes. Okay, so make sure you're in local. And over here, so the forward one is the green, so that's the Y, but it's reversed, so the aim will be minus Y. So over here for the aim, minus Y. Then for the up vector, we've got the red, so that's the X, but it's pointing down, so minus X. And then for the source object, let's use the exact same one. Okay, so let's test. And now as I move the target, yep, it does work, so the hips are rotating left and right in order to look at the object. All right, that's great. And now this is also the perfect time to look at a specific thing for how this system works. You can see the hips are indeed working perfectly, but over there the hand is no longer aiming perfectly. So the hand is clearly not aiming towards the target. Look at that. Nope. Now what is happening here is that the hands are indeed rotating to face the target perfectly just like before. The issue is that after the hand is rotated, then we're rotating the body. So in the end, after the body rotates, the hand is no longer facing perfectly. The issue here is that we're rotating the hand first and then the body second, which in turn rotates the hand. So really what we want is to do the reverse. We want to first rotate the body and then rotate the hand. By the way, if you find the video helpful, please hit the like button. It's a tiny thing, but it really does help. Thanks. Now that is super simple to solve. The way that this system works is based on the order in the hierarchy. So if we just take the body aim and drag it above the aim on the hierarchy. And now if we test and yep, now it is indeed working correctly. So the body rotates and the hand is still aiming perfectly no matter where I place it. All right, great. So everything is working, but here just one tiny thing is, this is kind of personal preference, but maybe the body's rotating way too much. So the body is rotating perfectly just like the hand. In order to make it a bit more natural, you can actually lower the weight of the body. So you can go over here onto the body aim constraint and over here you see a weight slider. So if you want, you can lower this to something like 0.7 and now essentially the body still rotates, but it doesn't rotate exactly as much. So this makes it look a bit more natural. Okay, so everything is looking good. Now there's just one final thing that we need. Right now the chest and the hand are rotating. That's great. But in this case, when working with a rifle, the character is also supposed to hold the front of the rifle with the other hand. Right now the other hand is just staying up there, not actually placed anywhere. So once again, we can make another constraint to solve this. Let's make another game object. Call this one the second hand grab weapon. And let's go into add component and emission rigging. And now the constraint that we want for this one, this one is going to be a two bone IK constraint. If you don't know about this constraint, again, you can go watch the dedicated animation rigging video. Essentially, this is the kind of thing that you use for arm placement or leg placement. So it takes two bones, like the upper arm and the lower arm, and then takes a target for the tip. So that's the hand and place the hand and rotates the arm and the upper arm to where it makes sense. So over here with this, all we need to do is assign the tip. So in this case, we want for the left hand. So let's go make sure we find the left hand. There it is. So for the second hand, let's go and drag the hand reference. So that's the tip. And once again, we can use the super awesome auto setup from tip transform. And there you go. It automatically selects the elbow and the shoulder. Okay. And then for the source object, when you use that menu to auto set from the tip, it automatically creates these two objects. However, these objects, we want their position to be relative to the hand. So instead of being a child of this object, let's go and make them a child of the right hand. Okay, so let's test just like this. And yep, just like this, it is indeed working. So the target is currently placed on the hand positions. And as you can see, the upper arm and the lower arm are correctly bending in order to reach that target. So all we need to do is just take this game object and place it correctly. So over here, let's grab the second hand grab weapon target. And we're going to want to grab over there up on the front. And let's just position this correctly. Okay, so like this, that's a pretty good position. And here's a quick inti tip. So we move this object, but we're in play mode. So when we leave play mode, we're going to lose this position. So instead, let's go into the transform and go up here and copy the component. Now we stop playing and now the transform is back on the incorrect place. So now right click and paste component values. All right, so now if we head on play and yep, over there we do see that the second hand is placed correctly. So now just the hint, 
Right now it looks like the character has a broken arm, so the elbow is meant to rotate to the other side, so let's put it just over here. And once again, let's copy the component and paste component values. And yep, there it is, now we've got our aim perfect. And we can take the target object, place it anywhere, and it always aims perfectly and aims correctly. So there you go, just like that, I can put it anywhere, and everything looks much better, much more natural. Okay, great. So the last thing that we need is just to connect this to the rest of the logic and set the target. For the target, that's actually very simple. Over here, I already have some code in order to get the correct mouse position. I actually cover this in detail in another video. So I've got an object being moved and placed onto where I'm aiming the mouse. Really all I need is to use this object as the target. So let's go into all of our constraints and just swap it out. So use this one and use this one. And on this one, also drag the reference. So here it is, and yep, it's already working perfectly. So I can rotate, I can look anywhere, and it looks much more natural than the first version. All right, so far so good. So the last thing that we need is just the aim in order to start and stop aiming. Right now, if I stop aiming, the character is still aiming. So look at that, this is not intentional, so let's fix that. Over here is the script that I made in that third person shooter video. So we're going to want to play around with the rig weight dynamically. So the first thing that we need is an actual field to get the rig reference. However, if we just do serialize field of rig, then nope, this type is not identified. So we need to add the namespace. In this case, it's inside unity engine dot animations dot rigging. Okay, so now we've got our aim rig reference. Let's rename this the aim rig. And then over here are my events for when the aim started and when the aim stopped. So over here, I could just add set the aim rig, set the weight into one and then back to zero. So that would make it instant. Or we can make it nice and smooth and use some simple interpolation. So here, let's just add a simple private float. Let's call it the aim rig weight. And then with this, let's go down into the events. So when we start, let's set the aim rig weight to one. When we stop, let's set it back into zero. And then on update, we really just set it. All right, so that's pretty much it. Just using a simple math.lerp in order to constantly lerp the weight onto the target weight. Okay, so let's see if it's working. So starting off on idle, so the IK isn't running, so I can look around my character and yep, everything works correct. I can walk and so on. All right, so far so good. And now as I press the right mouse button, yep, there we go. We go into aim mode and the system kicks in and the animation rig is currently active. So I can now point my weapon anywhere and as you can see, it always aims perfectly. So I can point it to the ground and yep, the character aims correctly at the ground. I can point in the sky and it aims at the sky. So I can walk around, I can aim, I can shoot and yep, everything is aiming perfectly. All right, awesome. And again, with all of this, remember the, the animation itself is just a simple static animation just pointing straight ahead. So it's the animation rigging system that is overriding that basic animation in order to make all of these bones aim perfectly at the target. And with this, you already have a really nice controller for a third person shooter. Great. All right, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.